Vandar, if he is the lowest cost minion, will reduce the cost of all other minions in your deck by three. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, buddy, watch this. Put the big boys back. Uh, these both draw, so I'm okay with keeping them to fill my mana. Just get stuff rolling. Get some discounts, right? A little bit of upside on each of these, so. <laughs> Vile Call's good. This is a good curve fill, actually. Really nice. If we could hit that Vandar on four, we're cruising, I think. Cruising. Vandar. Oh. Not possible. Vandar. Vandar. Ah. Uh. Too many fatties. Final call's great on three, though. We still have a turn or two to draw Vandar. I like it. <gasps> oh my god. Vandar on four is the ultimate Hearthstone play. It doesn't get any better than this. This is peak, peak Hearthstone. Pinflinger. Just to kill some ravenous vile fiends, huh? Alright. I mean we are playing Cthune Rogue, so what's what's sacred? I who knows? I mean, it's all nonsense anyway, right? Like who cares? What does Vandar do? Vandar, if he is the lowest cost minion, will reduce the cost of all other minions in your deck by three. So now I have five mana Moarg Forge Fiends and five mana Tate Heart Tormentors and five mana, six mana Ancient Void Hounds. I think I draw as opposed to Vile Call, right? I already have plenty of tempo. I need to make sure that I hit the big boys here. Where are the big boys? Four, five, seven, eight, nine out of 17 big boys. And we haven't hit one yet. Man, if we have to, we can kind of get by. I mean, we have the board. He's at 16 already somehow. I don't even know what I've done. How did I deal six to 14 damage already? This was six, I guess. He took some, some damage previously from the two twos, yeah. Somehow we found a deck slower than ours. Boy hounds. Oh, yes, sir. I think we trade here to clear. Get the big old Void Hound. Yes, I mean, Pikmander was technically better, but Void Hound's more fun. Ah, Death Rattle Rogue burning their Death Rattle Rogue weapon. Vandar clutching it with a six mana Void Hound. No! That's still really slow, though. Now I just need uh, Pit Commander. Pit Commander. Pit Commander. Extortion trade? Okay, sure. They're at eight. Nope, they're not at eight. They didn't attack. Did they already attack? No. Wait, what? Why did they do that? Why not just clear, I wonder? Maybe something next turn? Uh, I guess I'll go here in case I hit a five drop, right? Um, if I whiff, I can still just like vile call sigil hero power, so it doesn't change anything. But if I get like the five drop here, even if it's not outcasted, it's still really insane. Inquisitor or Taint Hearts, perfect, yeah. This could totally shut down their turn. Then we can go from hand next turn. I can just pick commander or whatever. If I don't get a cheaper one off the top. Surely they have a hard time here. Anything that would be really good at dealing with this is probably going to involve a spell of some sort. All their Cthune cards are seven. Those don't help anyway because Maul is gone. I guess technically the taunt would be enough on board, but we know that wouldn't matter. Well played. Smart yeah, Vandar again, dude. I mean, look, Vandar sucks when you don't get him. When you get him, though, very good. Uh, okay, Sigil's good. We don't need Null against Mage, probably. We went. Oh, yes! My boy! My dude, Vandar. I don't actually know if I love Sigil that much, to be honest, because it could hit a, a large minion, but if it hits a, uh, you know, Good card, vile call or something instead. That'd be great. Get a vile call one two sort of thing, right? Uh, that's a big guy, unfortunately. 
Oh my god, stop it with the big guys. It's not really inherently bad to get the big guys, it's just that I have less likelihood to draw a big guy post Vandar. You know, it's okay that they're in hand. I, I have enough. It's just that I'm less likely to get one when I need it, right? The, the density of big guys has reduced. But that said, I still think Sigil's better because I'm more likely to get a not big guy, right? I'm more likely to get a discounted good card, a Spectral Sight, a Chaos Strike, etc. Because I only have, you know, five, six big guys I care about in the deck, so I have, you know, 17 cards I'd love to get and six that I hate getting. So the odds are better that I improve my hand on average. So hopefully we get like, I don't know, Aldraki or something. It'll be a big guy though. Hey, it's not a big guy. Nice. That's not a big guy either. Beautiful. So now we can draw the big guys. Give me them big boys. I mean, this at seven is still pretty interesting. Against mage in particular. Although, I don't know. You never really beat mage through armor, so maybe not. You beat mage through threat. Uh, Taint Heart Tormentor is actually our, our clutch dude this matchup. Taint Heart could completely shut them down. I need to get Taint Heart right now off the top to just totally lock them down. Oh my god, how delightful would that be? Oh, please. <laughs> if there's ever been justice in the universe, the turn five Taint Heart. That would just be magical against Mage. <laughs> and like to slow. That gives me time. That's good. Good Frost Bell, though. Why? I, I, I just, I, I, I gotta ask, like, I... Why do mages wait the entire time to play their turn constantly? I'm gonna be honest, it's not that hard to open up with Arcane Intellect and then play another card. I don't mean to be a hater, it's just not that hard. I feel like mages think every turn is like some insane... You're solving a derivatives something. I don't know math stuff. Derivatives sounded like something. I remember doing derivatives at some point in calculus or something. I don't know. I seem to remember that being kind of hard. I, I just don't get it. It's it's always mage. You know, any individual mage like, yeah, maybe they were in the bathroom, right? I get it. I'm not saying this individual mage, but it's just so consistently mage. It's like, I, I, I just... Kibler put it well, I just glaze over every time we play mage. I just, they play 17 cards and I just cannot, I just can't, my brain cannot handle it. I think I care more about drawing two here than keeping my guy at a higher health total, right? Oh yeah, I do. Oh yes, sir. Those are big boys. Okay. It's my mage rant for the day. Are we doing scabs today? Honestly, I don't know. I, I was planning to, but I am hot. I'm bored. I may do it off stream, honestly. Okay, Apex's ping's pretty good. Oh, that's a nice minion, too. Man. I'm just going to rip a pit commander here, I guess, right? Uh, we don't need the more yet. We definitely want more bodies down. Oh, Kona Cold is really good. Okay. Save five health that way. Quest still coming along as well. All right, so we need Taint Heart. Taint Heart, baby! Illidar is, it's okay. I mean, if it sticks, it's amazing, right? If they don't have the freeze, if they're like committing to Arcanist here, like first flame Arcanist sort of thing, right? We might be like really good to go. I can't unfortunately play both for some just obscene burst here, but I mean, you kind of got to kill this too, right? Cause like you want to kill this obviously cause you're worried about damage, but you're worried about this giving me another one of these. You gotta be careful. I mean, either way, I'm probably going Taint Heart on 8, always. Saving this for turn 9. I mean, if this lives, though, I'm gonna be really tempted to Hero Power. I'd probably Hero Power Moarg in that case. Or, you know, if it's not Frozen, I guess I should specify even more so. So that's Fire. No Dawn Grasp this turn. I mean, this is a great 6 mana play, right? Like, Vandar did actually put in work here. Is this getting Frozen? Okay. So that limits us to 8 instead of 16. Which is still probably worth getting the Moar again. I don't know, it's like the Taint Heart totally shuts them down. Oh no, Taunt, I can't, yeah. Um, I could go Goldshire in that case. Like, 
Immolation Goldshire to hit for eight. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Taint Heart's just so much better, right? And then just figure it out next turn, basically. Yeah. They might kill this, sure, but Taint Heart is like disruptive to their entire game plan. So now if they Varden, it might be hard to play any other spell. Maybe like a single first flame, I guess. Because those are zero out of the deck. They'd go to two. What is that? They do two damage on board, so. Five mana fireball to clear it. Wow, that's pretty good. Does this guy live? Probably not now that the mana's cleared out. Oh, is there no first flame? <gasps> Noel is insane now. Oh, I can't play Noel and the other Inquisitor, though. And attack, I mean. Oh, but this is fine. It doesn't matter. I can just use this rush to clear the taunt, so this is great. This is amazing. Is this lethal? Oh, it's one off lethal. Oh, no, dude. It's one off lethal. Oh, my God. I mean, that's great. I'll take it, right? Like, we'll put them at one. That's delightful, but one off lethal, dude. Everybody's saying lethal in chat. Uh, I don't think so, right? It's, I didn't have any other extra damage, I think. Did you guys just miscount? I don't think I missed anything, right? Didn't have mana for Aljaki, so. Brain freeze? I mean, if they can't freeze face here, nothing else matters, right? We're just gonna ping face. Oh, that could be a taunt. Oh, I have Ivy, though. It doesn't matter. Ivy is fine. Woo! I don't think anything for zero mana impacts here. Ice barrier would have been the thing, but that can't be discounted to zero. I beam off the top. Let's go. You know what? Vandar made a big difference that game, guys, actually. Vandar was legit really good that game. Getting the, the six mana pick commander. Not bad. All right, we're hard mulling for Vandar. Vandar only. Not a good hand. Not a good hand. Prince Vandar? That's actually very appropriate. One of the princes, Keliseth and all those. Yeah, very similar. Goldshire Knoll's actually not bad. We're going to end up with a pretty big hand here, it looks like, so. Altraki 3, Vandar 4. Vandar. Okay, sure, we don't need him yet, so I-Beam's fine. Next turn's Vandar's turn. You see 10 guards on turn 4 if you full mole. 1 out of 3 on curve is decent. Yeah, I, that's true. Problem is you have to full mole, right, though? Sometimes you want to keep stuff. It's like early game, because you can risk... You can risk getting all these big boys in hand, right? It's it's kind of a uh, uh, catch twenty two of sorts. It's like I need to full mulligan for Vandar, but if I do, I can't. I can't guarantee a low cost hand, right? Your best bet is actually if you don't have Vandar and you're really going to have all the big stuff, so you can mull away from it. Still make a play. Is this actually just an emulation aura? Yeah, I think so. This rogue deck doesn't have as many wide boards as like um, Field Contact Rogue, right? I actually remember the name of Field Contact. It's the first time ever, I think. I can never remember that card's name. Vandar. Vandar. Need for Greed. Vandar. Something. Eldari. Okay, Seven Eldari is definitely not a bad card. Malarga, Drake again. Uh. I mean, we're getting to the point now where just natural cost cards are going to be good. I can I can keep one charge of Eldraki for the seven mana Moarg. Then we've got some good eight nine options. So now Vandar is definitely going to get diminishing returns. We can just play from hand at some point. I mean, obviously it'd still be better to get cool stuff there, but I kind of have this one turn where it might be better to play Vandar, and then after that it might just be better to play the big stuff, right? Scabs, whoa. What's the follow up here? So what's the oh my god. Well, Noel can kill that, thankfully. Noel, but I can't I beam if I go that route. I can still kill the 3 2, though, I guess. Maybe not. Never mind. Can't kill the 3 2. 
It's a big tempo turn, dude. A really big tempo turn. What is that? Oh, I can kill this at least. Okay. That actually kind of helps me in a way. They didn't really gain anything except the scabs in hand. That's a weird, weird play. Because that doesn't get buffed long term. Oh my god, and the I-beam. Oh, wow. Okay. So I can actually I-beam Goldshire now and Hero Power. Not that the Hero Power does a lot for me, but it does a little, I guess. Uh, I could try to value trade this guy and tank the five. Am I willing to do that? Actually, I think so, right? Um, the downside of that play is they hero power it, but then they take five, which is pretty meaningful when I have Illidari Inquisitor in hand. So yeah, I think I'd rather, yeah, I think I'd rather do it this way, right? I think this is better. Because if they take five, I'm not upset about it with Illidari equipped, right? Like, yeah, I take a little extra damage, sure, that's kind of scary, but I have I-Beam, I have Moarg, I think, I think damage is the one thing I can actually kind of play around. And I mean, this is Scabs, we know that's not inherently threatening, he probably has plenty of mana anyway. Wait, what? Why not just play the Scabs? You're out of gas anyway, right? I guess I don't understand. I, I mean, you just lose a card by not playing the Scabs there. Is there anything so expensive in deck that you need the scabs to discount it? I guess I don't understand. You could have had like a really big turn here. I don't know, I guess. That's stealth again? Shadow step. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, no, they didn't know they were getting a shadow step though. They could have played scab. Yeah, I don't know. I think I almost absolutely would have uh, scab swindled there, but whatever. Good for me, I guess. All right, 23, 8-8 eight, eight on board. So we know their hand is combo dude, scabs, and some third card. What on earth could this third card be? I guess the SI Assassin would be pretty good. I'm happy to just play a Moarg, I guess. I mean, Taint Heart might actually be a little better. I don't really need the health, so. Taint Heart's slightly more disruptive. This better be some sick card draw. Yeah, that ain't it. Uh, what do they get here though? This could be uh, the bounce thing. If this is the thing that bounces my dude back in hand, that's... Ah, okay. Yeah, no, uh, no Vandar, but still just got there this game. It's a good sign, actually. They got off to a fairly decent start. 